Hello guys, welcome to the ninth tutorial of the static timing analysis playlist. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss a very interesting question. And if you can able to solve this on your own, you can handle any kind of scenarios in this setup time and whole time equation analysis. Okay. So coming to the question, the question is two flip flops are given with their respect to clock to queue delay, setup time and whole time. And then delays are inserted in the clock path and data path in all the possible scenarios. And we need to derive the setup time and hold time equation. So I have already drawn the clock waveform so that uh, we can reduce the video time. And if you see here, this clock source is going through a delay of DL3 for flip flop one and from with a delay of DL2 for flip flop two. So clock at flip flop one is with delay of DL3 and clock at flip flop two is with delay of DL2. And the clock path is this with a delay of DL2 and the data path, if you see here, the delay of data path TCQ1 plus TDL by 1 from here to here. Ignore the DL3 for now. Now, if you try to analyze from here, the setup time should be between this window, right? Like the analysis of setup time will be clock edge for flip flop 1 and clock edge of flip flop 2. So between that window, you should analyze the setup time. So the delay or the period of entire clock here is TCLK, which is the idle clock period plus it is delayed by DL2, right? So D DL by 2. Whereas in the day, so from here, from this edge of clock source, I'm analyzing. So similarly, from the edge of clock source, if you analyze here, it is T DL by 3 plus T clock to Q delay of 1 plus T DL by 1 data path delay. So the general equation of the setup time is T clock to Q minus T setup time should be greater than or equal to T clock to Q delay plus T combo. So the clock period is same, but here the clock period is T clock plus T DL by 2 minus setup time is the setup time of second flip flop to T SU2 greater than or equal to T clock to Q delay CQ1 of the flip flop 1 plus T combo here is T DL by 1. So if you rearrange this equation, T clock should be greater than or equal to TCQ1 plus the setup time I'm taking that side TSU2 plus TDLY1 minus TDLY2. Um, wait, in the data path, there is TDLY3 also, right? So T clock to Q plus TDLY1 plus TDLY3. So that I missed, sorry, okay? Plus TDLY3. So this, I will put this side just to show you. So TCQ1 plus TSU2 plus T delay 1 plus T delay 3 minus T delay 2. We will see why we have written like that. Okay. So this is the setup time equation. Now the important thing here to analyze is this portion of the equation you are familiar already t clock greater than t c q plus t setup time this delays if you see from the diagram again i'm going back to the diagram delay 3 and delay 1 are in the data path data path whereas delay 2 is in the clock path clock path so here if you see the delay 1 and delay 3 so sum of data path delay and a clock path delay difference here okay these two you should add data path delays and you need to subtract the clock path delay so you can prove each time if you are uh, feeling little confusion but if you can remember this as a formula also it will help you a lot because these are the utmost cases that they can insert the delay right then there comes another thing whether min delay you should analyze or max delay you should analyze but we have already solved one example question from there you can see for setup time and hold time, what kind of delays you need to consider. Similarly, for the hold time, now it will be very simple. Okay. If you see, this is the standard clock edge for us, reference clock or the source clock. From here, the hold time equation is T hold should be less than or equal to T clock to Q plus T combo delay. Now, how these got changed is in the in the path where the data need to come, there is a delay 3 added, DL by 3, other than this. So, TCQ of flip-flop 1 plus T combo logic is nothing but delay 1 plus 
a new delay got added because the clock is taking some time to reach the flop one right so that is t dl by 3 similarly for the hold here we will see right delay 2 got added here it is dl by 2 right so it need to hold delay 2 times more here so in the positive ski analysis we have seen if the clock for second flop is shifted little right it will affect the whole time means the flop that is giving that is the launch flop should hold more time for the capture flop to capture so here t hold plus it should hold more time this time that is t dl by 2 times less than or equal to t c q 1 plus t dl by 1 plus t dl by 3 so from this t hold should be less than or equal to t c q 1 plus t dl by 1 plus dl by 3 minus t dl by 2 so this is the whole time equation similar way similar analysis hope you guys learned something new in this video um with the more interesting questions and all we will be seeing in the upcoming tutorials okay so stay tuned for this playlist for more videos thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial